Uh, the reason I'm here today is that I've just uh, spoken to, uh, to Mr Bailiu, to Ted Bailiu, and I've congratulated him on his election victory. And uh, I've had quite a long conversation with him, a very positive conversation. I've wished him every success. I've told him what a great honour it is, obviously, to be Premier of this state, and I've wished him success as he governs in the interests of all Victorians. Um, I've told him that on the basis of the results that have come in today. Um, although the seat of Bentley is still not declared, it would take uh, an extraordinary uh, shift in those preferences, something like 70-30, with remaining votes to be counted. And so, therefore, the most likely outcome of this election is a coalition victory of 45-43. And as I said, I've congratulated him and I've wished him and his team well for the future. Um, obviously, the election result is uh, very disappointing for me personally and I know for the Cabinet, for the caucus and for the Labor Party. I think it's, it's fair to say that we'd entered the election uh, with a strong track record in office and we'd presented, I think, very clear plans for the future of the state. And it's a great matter, it's a, it's a matter I think, of, of great regret to me that we will not be able to deliver on these plans for the future. But the electorate has spoken and I think we must respect their verdict, however close the outcome. And of course, a lot will be written in post-mortems about this election result. But I believe that, in essence, after 11 years, the people of Victoria felt that it was time to give another team and another party a chance. And as one observer put it to me earlier today, uh, the weight of time took its toll. And it's a very difficult thing, I think, to uh, fight against that sentiment. And that's not to, to gloss over or to, to airbrush over the issues that were raised during the campaign. But I think the, the simple fact of politics is that governments seeking to serve a mandate for well in excess of a decade face an extremely difficult time. 